Welcome to the guest on Gabon 24. This August 15, Gabon and the Nature Conservancy, a leading conservation NGO, announced an innovative agreement to refinance Gabon's national debt to the tune of 500 million US dollars. This will generate around $163 million in new financing to preserve marine ecosystem. This is the first ever debt to nature restructuring transaction in sub-Saharan Africa. To discuss it, I will see you here on this set, Professor Lee White, the Gabonese Minister of Water, Forest, Sea and Environment. Welcome, Mr. Lee White. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, thank you. I know we have a good news right now, but can you tell us more about that blue bounce? What are those and why is it so important now? The, the blue bond is something that has been done in a few places before, Seychelles, Mauritius, most recently in Ecuador, in South America. And it involves um, setting up um, low interest finance to buy back um, debt, in this case Gabon's debt, mm -hmm. um, and to then refinance with a much lower interest rate so the Gabonese Republic pays less interest, so it is cheaper, cheaper debt. But at the same time, in this deal, everything that would have been profits for the bank goes into a fund to fund uh, Blue Gabon, to fund uh, Gabon Blue. marine conservation mm -hmm. and, and management of fisheries. And so in addition to reducing the cost of our debt, we get an additional, uh, over, o over 15 years, we get an additional $163 million, million. Yeah. which pays every year, pays $4.3 million for Gabon Bleu, mm -hmm. over 15 years, and at the end of 15 years, we will have an endowment, we will have money in the bank yeah. that, that generates interest that will give us $4.3 million per year forever. And so it's sustainable financing. So by going through this yeah. debt restructuring through the blue bond, we get $4.3 million. That's about um, 2.5 milliards, um, billion CFA francs yeah. um, every year, forever. Forever. But how did you reach such a settlement in the time, in the same process? How did it start? In a way, it started 10 years ago. 10 years ago. When I was head of national parks and yeah. I asked TNC to come into Gabon. They weren't working in Gabon. They did a, an assessment of conservation priorities in Africa and Gabon came out top, number Oops. one. So they came, they started a program in the Ogwe, looking at the management of the Ogwe basin. Mm -hmm. And we then diversified and because they've done this sort of deal in a few other countries, they came to me and they said, look, we think we have a way that we can create sustainable funding for Gabon's marine ecosystems. And so we've been working on this with the Ministry of Economy for about a year now. Okay, but uh, the official report says that this mission will accompany the country in its goal to protect 30% of its lands also marine ecosystems and so much. Can we say that the country is now on a good track uh, with such results that these bluebirds will bring? Absolutely. The Gabon, our president, uh, President Ali Bongo and Dimba, have been one of the leaders pushing for this global objective, 30% protection by 2030. Yeah. We agreed at the biodiversity conference in Montreal in December last year with all of the countries around the world for this deal which is called 30 by 30. Gabon currently is at about 25% yeah. on land in the ocean. We're actually at 26% in the ocean. So it only involves an additional 4% of, of protection in our oceans because we're one of the countries that have already protected the most. And so a little bit of the money will be used to, to add the 4%, but basically most of the money will go into managing our marine protected areas and sustainably managing fisheries uh, because when you create marine protected areas the great thing is if you put them in the right places then you can increase your your fishing catch okay so protected areas results in more fish mm -hmm. not less fish uh, to be caught by the fishermen yeah um, and it's a way of guaranteeing um, 
food security for Gabon. All of the coastal populations that eat marine fish will have more fish to eat into the future as yeah. we better manage these ecosystems. I just wanted to say that because in, in some countries people think that protecting uh, the natural environment means uh, sometimes that people that live around cannot benefit from that. No, in, in, in the marine conservation or fresh water even, we, we, have, a, we have a management plan um, um, close to Lambrani of a lake yeah. where, where over the last four years we've been doing some protection uh, and we've seen the sizes of the fish increasing and the quantity of, of fish being, 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 being caught increasing in, okay. in Lake Ogemwe. Um, it's the same thing as in the ocean. You put the marine parks, the fish breed in the park, they come out of the park and then you can catch them and it increases the catch. So since we started Gabon Blue mm -hmm. in uh, 2013, uh, if you look at the size of the sardines in, in, in the estuary here, mm -hmm. they've gone from this size to this size. That's good uh, news. It's good news for, yeah. for everybody. They, 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 there are more of them, they're bigger and they taste better. Okay, so we have good news on the economy side, also in the food uh, security mm -hmm. side. Uh, but now I see that uh, the deal was made and the US International Development Finance Corporation was part of it, also the Bank of America. What is the interest into this deal? Because we, we are going to have some money from that, we are going to use it to, to protect our environment, but how do they benefit in the deal because it makes a cooperation into that. This is part of the US government's commitment to help um, international biodiversity preservation. Um, and so they're using the money that they have um, almost like an insurance to guarantee Gabon's bond. Okay. And when we have backing from the US government that gives a better rating on the band, it bond, it means that there's less risk for the people investing in it. And that's how we can change the, the, the interest rate on it. Um, and so it's, it's, it's one of these win-win situations where, where a developed nation can back a developing nation. Okay. Uh, and with their backing, we reduce the cost of debt and then we can use, use the debt for doing interesting things. So you can do the same thing in, in health, in education. This is, this is the first example in sub-Saharan Africa of doing it for, 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 for nature. For nature. Okay. I see there's a lot of cooperation between departments, Department of Economy, Minister of Economy, uh, of and EU yeah. Environment, and so. Uh, can we say that after this, after this deal that is done right now, that we can expect better cooperation also in the, uh, diplomacy, uh, in the diplomatic uh, sphere that we can bring more for Gabon into this kind of Absolutely. This is a first yeah. for sub-Saharan Africa. It means that we're opening the gates. The gate. um, and so other African countries can benefit. But Gabon, now within the Ministry of Economy, yeah. we have expertise that we didn't have before. They've had to work very hard to understand the mechanism um, and to, to, to finish this deal. And now we have technicians that know how to do it and so there's every chance that we can now repeat this um, for other parts of our debt and for, perhaps for other subjects, as I said, for health or education. Uh, and, and, and so as the world seeks to deal with climate change and biodiversity loss and, and, and plastic pollution around the world, these sorts of, of innovative finance mechanisms have to be used more and more and more to finance because we just cannot fit you know, all of the bill. It's mm -hmm. not right to ask Gabon to preserve our forests, to yeah. preserve our oceans, yeah. uh, and at the same time to pay for everything. And so this is a nice way of doing it because um, if we continue to service the debt, then, then, then there's, there's no particular risk for the US government, but by backing us, they have reduced the cost of our debt, and so everybody is winning. Okay, you talk about sustainable finance. Can we say that this deal can be aligned with the uh, carbon credit that also Gabon has been negotiating on the international markets? Can we make a parallel between both? It's different, but it's a one of this mix of financing yeah. mechanisms. And so having done the blue bond, 
Um, again, it increases our credibility. Okay. Uh, it increases the world's faith in what Gabon, Gabon is doing, and so it's going to strengthen our ability to, 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 to manage the carbon credits, the carbon finance, and we have created a biodiversity foundation, which is a US-based charity that, that can manage funds coming in internationally. Okay. Um, and, and that sort of mechanism will give a lot more confidence to potential buyers of the carbon credits. And so, yeah, we're strengthening our, 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 our economic and our environmental street cred, if you want, our credibility. And that should allow us to do more and more of these, of these deals. Okay, can you have a last word? Maybe uh, because in this report, we're talking about Gabon's waters and why they are so uh, unique. Can you have a last word about this deal and also about uh, our environment and why maybe some international investors should come also to invest? Yeah, Gabon is one of the most environmentally sustainable countries on earth. Whether it's in our forests or in the ocean, we have incredible biodiversity. And the two come together. Right? So we see the, the wildlife of the forest going out into the ocean, the elephants and the hippos and the crocodiles and, and, and so on. It's the only place on earth where you see elephants and whales together. Yeah. Right? We have 15% of the world's humpback whales. We have the biggest nesting populations of leatherback and olive ridley turtles. And, and as part of the Gulf of Guinea, Gabon is a, is a critical marine ecosystem. And so bringing these sorts of financial mechanisms to, to, to help preserve that is in the interest of the entire planet. Uh, and we encourage everybody to take a look at what we've done and, and come and work with us to do more of these sorts of deals. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lee White, for coming on our platform. We have come to the end of today's program. Thank you again. Dear viewers, you have been watching the guest we received today. Professor Lee White is the Gabonese Minister of Water, Forest, the Sea and Environment. We discussed the blue bounds and innovative agreement to refinance Gabon's national debt. So, see you next time. Goodbye.